Caffeine is the most commonly consumed drug worldwide, with around 80% of the world's population drinking it daily. And many research papers have shown the beneficial effects of caffeine on increasing energy expenditure in certain people which might be helpful for weight management. So it's no wonder that companies have tried to tap into this by trying to sell products that promote caffeine or caffeine included products as um, weight loss uh, aids. But are products like skinny coffees actually worth your money? and welcome to today's video. Now, skinny coffees are big business, but do they do anything other than regular coffees do if fat loss is a goal? And does caffeine in general help you lose fat? Um, all coming up in today's video. Now, here's a key point. Now, one cup of a skinny coffee or something similar is around about six calories. Now, if your daily coffee is um, something like a Starbucks latte, for example, which is around about 180 calories, then by switching from the latte to the skinny coffee is going to save you around about 174 calories per drink. Now, this is not necessarily a huge win on its own. But if you're someone that drinks two, three, four lattes per day, then switching from those to a skinny coffee would uh, be of a huge benefit in terms of saving calories across the day, the week, the month, and the year. There's no argument for me there that by replacing that coffee with a skinny coffee would be beneficial in terms of saving calories and ultimately helping you manage any weight goals. Here's the kicker. You know, um, a double espresso or an Americano, just a plain black coffee, only contains five calories per serving. So in actual fact, switching from your regular latte or cappuccino or whatever down to a black coffee or an espresso is going to save you the exact same amount of calories or even just a few more. In this sense, a skinny coffee or anything like that is kind of pointless if you just switch to a regular black coffee. But wait, what about the ginseng and the green tea extract in skinny coffee? Isn't that fat burning super ingredients that we need? No, not really. This meta-analysis from Balladia et al. 2014 kind of sums up the effectiveness of green tea extracts uh, for weight loss for us. Okay, so with the authors finding that green tea extracts, um, the effects are not clinically relevant, meaning that fat burning potential is minimal at best. So unfortunately, there's no good evidence or strong evidence to say that adding in uh, green tea extracts to uh, a coffee is going to have any more beneficial fat burning effects than just having a regular black coffee on its own. Ah, I see. So green tea extracts don't really do anything. But what about just caffeine in general? Surely that will make me a fat burning machine. So I should just drink it anyway, right? No, sorry. But yes, caffeine in the diet does increase your energy expenditure right by around about you know eight to thirteen percent, and you know in the acute sense, you know in the hours following uh, caffeine ingestion. And yes, caffeine intake does increase fat lipolysis, which is your fat leaving the adipose tissue and entering your bloodstream. Here's the thing, um, as highlighted by Anderson et al. 2004. Following caffeine ingestion of the free fatty acids released, 66% are re-aristified. And this just means that the fat goes back into your fat tissue again. Um, it's not burned and it's not lost from the body. You see, fat loss is a two-step process. The first step is called lipolysis, which is where you release fat from fat cells and that then enters into the bloodstream. The second step is fat oxidation, which is the process of getting the fat into the muscle and then the muscle using it as fuel. Green tea extracts and coffee, or them combined, can help with the first step, so releasing the fat from adipose tissue. But again, 66% goes back into the tissue. Um, but what these things can't do is help with the second step, which is the oxidation, the burning it in the muscles. You literally need to move your muscles um, to use this fat as fuel and therefore burn it and therefore lose fat. Think of it in this sense. Um, think of your muscles as like a car engine. Um, the fat is the fuel in the engine. But if your car just sits there, um, you're not burning any fuel. You literally have to drive somewhere to burn it. And this is essentially how we use um, energy in the muscles. If you're drinking these things thinking they are some magical fat loss product, well, the research tells us um, they're not. Doesn't mean you can't drink these things and enjoy them. If you like the taste, you know, more power to you, go for it. Just don't be fooled into thinking that you'll be burning more fat or you'll be burning any fat, um, any more than you would do from drinking regular coffee. Because 
you won't. Okay guys, so there you have it. Now, if you're getting any value from these videos, then please go and let me, uh, let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know your nutrition journey. Uh, let me know if you're uh, we're using any of these uh, products that supposedly help for fat loss. Um, I'm interested to know your thoughts on these things. Um, but for me, for now, that's all. And I'll see you next video.